All right, welcome back to Battletech. And I know it's been a long time. I'm sorry, everybody is way ahead of me in the campaign right now. I've been taking my sweet time getting to these videos and I apologize. There's a lot been going on. I've just been focused on so many different things. I've been working on music again mainly, which is why these videos have been so delayed. And then of course, these particular videos are just are so long and take a long time to edit, which is why after doing the first episode and maybe this one, maybe another one, I'll do like maybe three, uh, recorded let's plays and then I'm probably gonna move it to live streaming once I sort of get into the swing of things here and just you know get my bearings because I haven't even gotten to the um, I guess like the, the the mercenary stage where you, you're picking your crew and building your mechs and all that jazz yet because my lord recording two hours of footage and taking up like 15 gigs on my hard drive each episode is just that's just not gonna fly <laughs> this game is just so long you know it just takes a long time to really uh, you know do the missions and stuff is what it seems like and what I've been hearing. And before I get into things, I wanted to briefly um, just point out and talk about the reviews that have been uh, coming out for the game so far. Right now, it's sitting on Steam at mostly positive with a 72% out of almost 3,000 reviews, which is good, but a lot of the negative reviews, especially when you look at Metacritic, are just some of the dumbest shit I think I've ever seen. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but a lot of these ones giving it like ones or zeros seem to be for the most part people complaining that it doesn't look like crisis 4 you know <laughs> or that it's not a one-to-one -one conversion of the battletech tabletop game which of course it wouldn't be you know i think the game looks fine you know of course it doesn't look like the greatest game in the world but it, it doesn't really need that and then as for not being one-to-one -one battletech jordan weissman himself said that you know if he was to do battletech again he would change things up he would update you know the the formula because battletech was never the most balanced thing to begin with he wanted to change things around make some new additions and that's that's fine for a franchise especially since mech warrior has always been a franchise that has already been doing that you know, MechWarrior 2 to 3 went from having projectile lasers to instant hit lasers. MechWarrior 4 was the first MechWarrior game to introduce hardpoint systems for the first time. And some of that even carries over into the new Battletech game here, like the hardpoint system I saw somebody else playing is actually in the mech lab. Uh, it's very similar to, I guess I'd say, MechWarrior Online instead of MechWarrior 4. But it's just funny seeing these, like, super tryhard Battletech white knights being all like, Oh my god, it's not one to one, you know, it's like, change is just so bad for them. <laughs> and it's just, it's ridiculous. And it sucks that these people are just tanking the overall score, I think, for Battletech. And I was talking to Fontaman about this a lot, and we both think it's just, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh, and like the whole choosing a pronoun at the beginning of, of a game, like, d people really care about this? I mean, come on. People were giving the game zero out of 10 because of that fucking option like really guys what the fuck so far i'm in love with the changes i've seen and the direction that the game is going of course i need to get further into it still but from what i've heard from the other people playing it my friends fontuman and other youtubers they're absolutely in love with the game of course there are some legitimate reviews and concerns about how the game takes um the game has some pretty long loading times and that is true of course i cut that out when i'm doing these let's plays so you guys don't have to sit there for you know five minutes but the loading times are pretty long and there are a lot of unnecessary like pauses in the battles and stuff that you know sort of drag out I'd say the gameplay and that could have been smoothed out a little but it's nothing that I would say is game breaking or worthy of a zero out of ten the other concern is that and I, I didn't even think about this when I first played is that the tutorial level is terrible it is downright terrible I, I have to I have to call out harebrain schemes for that because it barely explains any of the mechanics or the systems in play or what everything means and I, I understand that like I already knew because I played in the beta so I was really good with the combat already I already figured everything out I learned everything but for new people coming in I mean the tutorial level doesn't tell you anything it really doesn't and that kind of sucks and so a lot of people I think struggle their first time playing you know trying to figure out what the hell everything does and then you know of course they're gonna make mistakes and get killed and have to restart all over again and that definitely sucks so I can see how that's definitely an issue and probably something they need to address maybe redesign the tutorial level with an update or a patch or something or even include some sort of training center that people can screw around with and sort of learn everything that there is I mean there is a lot of depth to the combat system in this game there's a lot of strategy involved and it can be kind of overwhelming but yeah anyway enough rambling I'm gonna load up my campaign here now because my save was after the mission actually started I'm just gonna go back uh, in the last recording and read the dialogue that I, I missed here so everything went to shit it's three years later now I still don't believe Kamea Arano is dead I'm calling bullshit on that 
all right they they, they fake the dropship exploding or she ejected in time or something i just i know video games okay they're gonna they're gonna try to pull a <laughs> no she ain't dead there's no way i mean it makes sense because she's talking to you in the beginning of the game about the past that we're playing now yeah, yeah so no yeah she's not dead but anyway i was picked up by a mercenary company it's three years later and i find myself on this planet IPL representative. The Independent Prospectors League thanks to you. The Independent Prospectors League thanks you for your assistance, Commander. We're miners, not soldiers. We can't fight these bastards off on our own. That's what you're paying us for. Don't worry, we'll get your platforms back. This isn't just about reclaiming what's ours. Majesty Metals killed hundreds of us when they tried to jump our claim. We want you to make them bleed for what they've done. <laughs> make them suffer. Commander, the Op 4 is holding two of the IPL's mining platforms. The first, designated Alpha, is where they're keeping their turret generator. Move in fast and take it out. Those turrets hit hard, so you'll want to neutralize them ASAP. Oh, so it's just like, I actually remember certain missions in MechWarrior 4. Instead of blowing up the turrets, you could literally just go for the generator, the turret generator, and then they, get, they shut down. So that's actually pretty cool. Platform Bravo is the site for the Op 4's corporate security tower. Engage and destroy it. If they bring in a mech to protect it, take that out too. Oh, I bet they are. Then circle them back and we'll collect our pay. That's right. I'm ready and waiting to authorize the transfer. Now go on, Commander. Hit those corporate pigs where it hurts. We'll be watching the action from here. Okay. All right. So what did they give me here? I'm in my blackjack. Four medium lasers, two AC2s. Oh, and I have death from above. I guess I got jump jets. I hear ya. Glitch has a Vindicator, PPC, medium, small, LRM-5. Ready for orders. Shadowhawk, AC-5, SRM-2, LRM-5, medium laser. What's up, boss? And Spider, two medium lasers. Okay, I like how... What's up, boss? I'm not... Am I even the boss yet? I thought... I'm not in command right now because I... I you picked me up. This is your mercenary company. I... You know what? How does... Well, I guess I shouldn't speculate anything at this point. How do I become my own mercenary owner does like the owner die or oh no they said he did die didn't they in the the in the intro and in the bombings and stuff so who who took over the mercenary company right now i don't know if that i might have missed i wasn't paying attention maybe all right i could go right up the main road here here's the generator we have to destroy or i could sneaky sneak down the back here and shoot it from behind maybe actually i don't know if i can from down here, I might not be able to get a good angle on it, and then I'll be too close. Turrets will... Alright, there's probably a turret here, and a turret here. I don't know why they look like they're already destroyed. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm not in range and I can't see the turrets, so I don't know that they're there. But I mean, like, you know, it's pretty obvious that's <laughs> where they would go. Um, What if I go right on this little edge? Yeah, hang on, hang on. I think I can get right on the edge. I'm going to get right here with the spider. Aye, aye. You run along there and see what blips come up on the radar. There we go. See, there is a turret there. That was very obvious. I don't listen to the man, okay? You sh. I will. <clears throat> okay. Well, there are two mechs here. I don't know what they are. Oh, you know, I didn't even check to see what abilities they have. Okay, wait, these are new, I think. Precision strike. Take a called shot against a single target at negative four difficulty? What does that mean? The target's next initiative is reduced by one. Huh. Oh, it costs 20 morale? What? Oh, oh, this, the morale. Oh. When above 50%, your mech warriors will have all, will all have slightly increased combat prowess special abilities like precision strike and vigilance must spend morale to act that's that's so cool oh okay because that was the um the focus meter back in the beta i guess they sort of changed it up and now you can you don't have to wait till it's full to all it did in the beta was let you uh, up your percentage chance to like 95 percent but that's cool and then vigilance is gain guarded and entrenched and remove all stability damage your next initiative is increased by one to a maximum of five cost 25 morale now, does that use a turn? Here's the thing. This obviously is like, okay, I can call a shot. So I, I, I use this and take my shot. This costs 25 morale. Does that end my turn? Because if I brace to remove unsteady and gain guarded and entrenched, that does end my turn. Is this like a way to do it without ending your turn? And you can still go? Like, that would be cool. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to figure it out. Um, Let's move me 
You know what? I'll go with the spider, me personally. Good to go. And then I'll send them on the road on since way. they sort of have the better mechs I'm right now. Commander. Moving out. Okay. So what are you guys doing? Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't see... Oh, damn it. I forgot to look if anybody had sensor lock. I want to see. All right. I do not. You have multi-target. You have bulwark. Good to go. And no, nobody has... I would... <laughs> sensor lock probably be OP right now. Um... Hmm. This guy is moving up. I don't want my spider to be... Okay. I can... Oh, shit. If I move, if I jump here though, he'll see me. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere I can get where the spider can see him, and he can't see me. And I don't know what it is. I don't even know if it's a light or heavy. It just, it's not even telling me. I assume they wouldn't give me like, <laughs> they wouldn't put me up against heavy mechs right away. I'm assuming it's probably a light mech. And I have, who do I have with? I have this guy with an LRM, and this guy with an LRM. So. Be nice to at least spot a little bit but the problem is the turrets yeah that's the thing the turrets will shoot at me okay i'm gonna play this very very I, I, one thing i kind of wanted to challenge myself on was i want to take this very seriously take my time and not ever reload a save it, my goal is to just if it, whatever happens happens and i just take it and deal with it so i don't want to i, I don't ever want to have to reload a save i'm not gonna like Oh shit, I didn't want to lose that guy or that mech, so let me just go back and do the whole thing over again. No, I'm going to deal with it if it happens. So I am going to take this Standing by. super serial. I'm thinking, mm, I don't know, there's no way I can see the generator without seeing the turrets. I have to kill these mechs anyway. So I'm going, I'm going to jump, no, actually, hang on. I'm going to keep cover from the turrets for now and just fight the mechs as they come here i think nothing can see me here i just want to move to get a lot of evasive for now wait till this mech comes around the corner because he's just he's in uh, he's not out enough for me to really spot him without being spotted so go ahead and brace they've got a sensor lock on me Oh no, okay, I've been sensor locked, but they don't have long range missiles, it looks like, or they would have fired. I would imagine. I'm gonna jump with my blackjack right here in case this guy moves up. And that way I'll be able to spot him. Oh, I did spot him for a second. What was it? Ah, shit! I didn't look! Damn it! It looked like a medium, I wanna say? I don't know. Fuck. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. I saw him for a split second. Damn it. That's actually really funny. Alright, bracing. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, wow. We can get very high all around. Um, okay, the Vindicator. The Vindicator is a pretty decent mech. We'll be able to take a little bit of a beating before anything happens. So I'm going to jump up here. I'll probably get shot by both turrets, but... I I soar. <laughs> okay. Relax, there. It's, you know, it's fine. All right, so... Oh, it's a Commando. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad at all. We are going to fire everything we got. Here we go. Oh, beautiful PPC hit. Beautiful. Mwah. Yeah, I've been hit. I've been blessed by the RNG gods. I love the Vindicator with that PPC, man. Receiving you. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. Oh, I can jump with her too. Holy shit, I can jump with everybody. Bleeder, would you shush? Okay, I am trying to play a game. I'm gonna move over here and start launching some LRMs with the Shadowhawk. Everything I, I I think everything I have has jump jets. <laughs> my whole my whole lands has jump jets. This is great. Pew pew. I really didn't do much, but his center is already just fucking gone. Uh oh, what's that? What are those? Oh, those are turrets. Okay, there's more turrets over there. What? What? Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Ah uh, fuck. Okay. So, more turrets just came online, and they have missiles. Good to know. Oh, boy. What is that? That's Was that the turret, or was that something? It looked like that might have been something behind the turret. All right. So, she's sensor locked. Oh, there's more. Oh, my God. There's Okay, we have to take out that generator. Um, Commander. 
I am going to move... Oh, shit. I'm going to move my spider here. I'm going to also face slightly away to take some shots in the arm in ju uh, just in case here. Move order received. Whoop, okay. Sort of flipped up the rock there. And we're gonna we're gonna try to take this out. A sap. Firing. I can't miss a building, right? I would imagine Ooh, you can see it actually oh, that's so cool. I love the damage physics. Okay. It's not dead, but yeah. Right, what are you doing? Alright, going for the Vindicator, that's fine. We I gotta charge in there. Yeah, those those I did not know there were that many turrets, and I guess it makes sense now why we're going for that generator building first. They have a spider. A tactician spider. Pew pew, you missed like a bitch. My turn. Is this destroyed? No, it, it almost is destroyed. I need to... What can I do for you? I can hit it. <gasps> yes. Can I multi-target it? And then... Okay. So we'll fire... Yeah, actually, that's... Ex well, I don't know if I need... How much... Hang on. This is at 50... Okay, so one PPC would take it out. I don't think I'm gonna miss with the PPC. I could, I could throw the PPC at the. Well, okay. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be slightly risky. One PPC should take out that generator, and I don't think I'm gonna miss. Pretty sure I'm not gonna miss. Then we'll fire the rest at the commando to try and take him out. Okay, go. Uh huh. Please don't miss with the PPC. I mean, come on. Oh yes. Ha 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 ha. So. Badass. I like how the turret just fucking exploded. Look, it, it did. It just blew up. <laughs> okay. Well then, um, that takes care of a lot of things. That was great. Holy shit. I fucking owned. Okay, now it is just a matter of, yeah, jump here, jump a little further back, gives me a higher hit percent chance. Unfortunately, me as a pilot doesn't have any skills yet. But, that's fine. We can probably most definitely take out this commando right now. And just fire everything at him. Um, I, I don't need to fire everything at him. But, I kind of want to. We can also fire everything at... Eh, hit percent chances are not very good. I want to make sure he's dead. Because it's not a guarantee I'm going to hit the center torso at all. So, let's just fire everything. All I can weapons. deal with the heat. Yeah. Oh, it did get him. Oh. Okay, for a second, I thought it was a no-go. Very nice. What's up, Bach? Boom, boom, boom. Now we're gonna move up and get you with the. Oh, actually, I think. No, there's no, there's no uh, minimum range. No, there's not. Okay, let's move up with move. you. And I said I don't really need to fire the LRM. Um, jeez, I barely have. Can I? We have 80% morale. Precision Strike uses how much? 20. I mean, this will be good because it reduces their initiative, I think. Well, I get. let's just try it. So, let's Precision Strike. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Aim for the head. That'd be great if I got a headshot. I know it's not going to happen, but for shits and giggles, I might as well just to see. I mean, you never know. I could have a miracle here. It seems to... Precision Strike also seems to have increased my weapon chances because they were not this good before so okay that's good let's see how you like this 20 morale yeah i hit his side a lot facing way he's down in evasion Reporting. destroyed a jump Critical jet hit. okay orders and now the spider my spider can what if we could Ooh, ee. Ooh, we could jump on him i don't want to no we're not gonna do a death from above because i will blow out the legs on my <laughs> My spider, but we can jump right here and aim right down on him. That's cool. Yeah, 60% chance. It's all 60%. Okay. Let's do that. Damn, that fucking spider can fly, dude. That's great. Ah, I missed with one. I'm fine. <laughs> do I melee? I don't really need to melee, do I? I'm gonna do way more damage, actually. Uh attacking i don't think I, I don't even want to move to be honest okay so since this is like the very first mission i'm assuming it's gonna go a little easy on me i need to see what vigilance does because i need to know if it uses my turn or not gain guarded and entrenched and remove all stability damage your next initiative is increased to a, uh, by one okay so let's just, i want to just see if it uses my turn gain guarded okay blah 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 
Confirm. Okay. It did not use my turn. Excellent. So I can do that without using a turn. That is very good. This guy's dead. Yep. Easy peasy. Alright, not doing too bad. Enemy mech destroyed. Destroyed. Uh, I'm very hot now, though. Another blip on my screen. Reinforcements. He literally clipped into the building, but that's fine. Alright, so what dropped here? I can't even... Oh, it's like, I don't even know. It's just a target. Just a, just a question mark. Um, I'm going to make me go first just because I need to cool off. So let me, let me start. We'll start moving to take on these guys. And I will cool down. Receiving you. Oh, my turn again because I guess I have the initiative. Uh, we're going to jump Mr. Jump Mr. Spider up close just so we can try to see what these mechs are. Lifting off. And target anybody else. Yeah, I heard, I heard blips. I heard blips. Okay, definitely more blips. We got a mech. These are vehicles, unknown vehicle, unknown mech. Okay, brace. Waiting for orders. All right, you need to get down off of that. You're gonna jump here, get Don't ready sweat. to fight things. So cool. Um, and brace. Gotta vent some heat after those jump jets. Where is the... What? Why would that vehicle go down there? Okay. Is that vehicle, like, literally trying to flank all the way <laughs> around? Standing by. Bet I could get a good angle with the Shadowhawk on this ridge here. So we're going to move like that. Brace. And then I might reserve uh, and just see how they move and then move all my mechs at once. Because I want to... These vehicles are now fucking off for some reason and I could very easily uh, jump on this mech with all four of my guys at once I think yes commander I think I might do that I think I'm actually gonna reserve Roger that standing by okay he's moving up so now I have oh well no they have two turns I have four turns let me let me reserve again move my turn over let them go it's the vehicles turns for this round Ooh, they are actually traveling pretty quickly they could flank me all right now now they don't have any turns left now it's all me so move in ready for orders with the spider and we're gonna jump right here to get a line of sight on whatever this is just like that firing jump jet and it is a, ooh, Shadowhawk. Okay, big guy. Um, commence the pew pew. He has no evasive right now, which is good. So pew pew. Now I can move in with me. I'm going to jump here, I want to say. It's going to cost me some heat, but otherwise I'm not going to be able to get in range. So... Jumping here. Engaging jump jets. Firing. Oh, not firing everything. Okay, we're gonna take out the two mediums that are not actually gonna. All right, what the ACs? Oh, the mediums and the ACs do the same amount of damage, but the AC2s have a better hit chance. So let's do that. Engaging target. Okay. Good to go. Uh, moving up with the Vindicator, which has the PPC here. Is there anything in the way? No. That should be a clear shot. It is. So we're moving up with the Vindicator. Staying in the right range to use my PPC and LRMs. Let's take a nice shot here. Special delivery! Ooh, nice. This guy is getting fucking owned. And now, yes, come in. for my... Uh-oh. We're going to have to jump. Uh, oh, I'll be able to see one of the tanks at least. I mean, unless I don't want... Um, could the, could the tanks even... Now, I don't know. Can the tanks, like, aim up like that and shoot at me? I don't know, honestly. I, and I kind of want to put my shadow... Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm going to jump here. Put my Shadowhawk in front of these two mechs. Uh, because then he will not be able to have a direct shot on me, at least. I don't know. He might still be able to hit the Vindicator, but... The Shadowhawk, obviously, has the, has the most armor here. So we're gonna jump. Ooh, that's 
Yeah, we're, go we're all right. Here, the LRM just has a bad hit chance here. All right, we're gonna jump right here. Affirmative. Get right in front. Take on the Shadowhawk with my Shadowhawk. What's in this arm here? Oh, oh, that's his AC-5, which is probably the heaviest hitting thing on him. So I could not call for a precision strike. Why? Are these... Oh, no. Are these once used once only? <gasps> oh, no. See, it doesn't explain that. Okay, so I might only be able to use these once per game, I guess? Because I it costs 20 morale, and I have 30 morale. So that's not the problem. Damn. I was not aware of that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I just hope we can blow off that torso. Confirmed. Nah, I missed it. Well, actually, that might have... Nope. Damn it. Close, close, close. Ah, it's my turn again, though, because... Waiting yes. for orders. Um, I don't want the spider to get uh, fucking owned here. So, actually... No, well, no, I have to move because... Um, shit. I am really afraid the Shadowhawk might turn and shoot at the spider. I mean, he ha he's completely untouched, so he could take it. And I don't want to move the spider because I have a really good chance, me hitting his side here, to blow off his weak shoulder. I mean, it's at, yeah, 47. If both lasers hit that side, it's a, that shoulder's gone and he loses his AC5. But if I don't move, then I have no evasive, so. <laughs> Uh, risk, risk taking it. Come on. Shit, missed with one. All right, now it's the enemy's turn. Okay, good. He didn't go for my spider. He actually kind of. What was that? That was weak as. That was. That was weak AF, dude. That was uh. That was really weak. I'm not gonna move Shadowhawk because he has Bulwark, so he'll get the uh the 50 percent damage reduction from not moving this turn. Here it comes. Oof, that torso is still on. Okay. These guys are probably gonna move more this way. Oh, it is a scorpion. We're gonna move right here with me. Blackjack does run really hot. I mean, like, really hot. Oh, get that torso, come on. Holy, how is that torso not? What the fuck? Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Okay. I hear ya. And then, I don't think we have to move him either. Uh, he has multi-target, but I want to stay in range here. Uh, we'll not fire the medium laser. There we go. So PPC and LRM5. This just has a better hit chance. Um, I, you know what? Actually, the medium laser is more damage. Oh, but it is hotter than an LRM5. Okay, screw it. His whole side is actually really fucked up. Let's see where his PPC goes. Got it. Ooh, his other torso. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, hit the wrong fucking torso. More, huh? He's looking pretty... Wait, can I actually zoom in and see, like, damage on him? Yeah, it looks like it anyway. That's really cool. Huh. Alright, I'm just not gonna move the spider again. Screw it. Let's see if I can... I just gotta get the torso now. What? Are you... Okay. Sure. Oh, now he's moving. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn it, I knew he was gonna go for the spider. Fucking god. Okay, he he missed very bad. He I think he Did he miss everything? I don't know. His shoulder two damn two. Two points. Okay. I don't wanna move Good with me go. because Commander. Yeah. We're gonna not move the Shadow Hawk and just fire everything. I missed with the goddamn Wow, that was actually really bad. Whoa, I had a very bad I shot think I there. Good. That was strange. These ve okay, they're now they're driving back the other way? What? I don't know if those vehicles know what the hell they're doing. I'm just gonna move over slightly, try to get a better hit on his shoulder. I wanna hit, get that damn AC5 off. Uh, just the PP, well, yeah, let's do just the PPC. Time to die. <laughs> there it is, thank you. PPCs are fucking nasty. I love the PPC. The PPC is lit AF. Now it's my turn. I'm going to... I don't want to hit his side. I want to get a front shot. So let's move here, I'd say. And we'll just fuck off with the AC2s and do... Uh, okay. Select him. Fuck off with the AC2s. Fire just the medium lasers. Okay, fire. Uh, you know what? 
little bit of internal heat is fine because I'm I'm barely touched, so I'm gonna risk it. Engaging target. I missed with one. He's almost dead. Getting a little toasty. Uh, oh, I can't hit him from here. What? That's strange. Okay, I can move right here and hit him though. <laughs> Position it, confirmed. Um, huh. Okay. Two two hit points. Two hit points. Okay. Oh, he has. Oh, maybe the precision strike and the vigilance is only for. Is it like you can only use it once per mech per pilot? I can use it with this guy. Hmm. Targeting for an alpha strike. There we go. He down. Inspired. Ooh. Mech destroyed. All right, now it's just the vehicles, which should be easy peasy if I remember anything from the first level. Ow, 45. That's an AC5, isn't it? Holy shit. Um, let's move over here. We're just gonna we're gonna get on the ridge and just shoot down at them. I mean, they shouldn't be too terrible to take out. He has yeah, an AC5 and a machine gun. Ouch. That actually hurt. <laughs> Um, let's do the AC2s, and, oh no, that's gonna, alright, I really do need to vent some heat, so, I'm gonna just fire AC2s for now. Targeting rear armor. Ooh, nice. That's good hits. This one's probably gonna take a shot at my blackjack, which is fine, he's got full armor pretty much. Ow. Where'd that hit? Ooh, my center. Ow, oh, man. What can I do for ya? Not good, okay. Let's move Vindicator right here. On my way. We'll go for the one that's already damaged. Go with a PPC. Um, they have actually a decent amount of, well, if I hit the, yeah, actually if I hit this one area, it's just I'm gonna overheat, so. Let me see if I multi-target and use, I can overheat a little bit. Again, he has like no damage, so I'm gonna risk doing a slight overheat here. And we'll do like that, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. No problem, I've got enough gun for everyone. Okay, destroyed. Actually, the PPC didn't destroy him. It, uh, it took a couple extra missiles to actually get him. All right, I'm overheating. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're fine. All right, we're gonna go. No, I want to hit him in the front. Um, there we go. Is that a direct line? Yeah, I believe that is. So, move here. Roger that. And fire. Okay, now I have person. I maybe maybe it's just you can't use it after a certain number of turns then. I guess that must be. Oh, I hit his right. Damn it! I wanted to hit his right side. Okay, so I can use it again. Call a precision strike, and go for his right side because that's the weak side, and then I'll hit the internal and blow him up. Let's do that. Yeah. Oh my God! Immediately, fucking annihilated. Yes. Very nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Now I just have to destroy the corpse sec tower. Corpse sec. Corpse sec. I don't know. Uh, which is this big building here, and I don't see any other defenses that would be around, so... Waiting for orders. We're gonna... I guess we're gonna sprint. I can't... Can I move and get a shot? I can move and get a shot. It set me to sprinting automatically for some reason. Go with fire the AC2s, pew pew. Engaging Actually, that'll target. kill it, because it's 25... Target building. Destroying. Yeah. Great job, Commander. Okay. Double back Shit. to our client's platform. The sooner we can collect our pay and break orbit. Better. Fucking sweet. I fucking owned. I own that mission, man. Holy shit. Alright, now we just have to what? What can I do for you? Just gotta go back here. Okay. Uh-huh. So is something gonna happen? Got it. Or is it just On like you have to move to the right places and stuff? Cause I can see how this is a little bit of a time waster, you know, having to go through all this to just to get back to uh the um you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Aye, aye. Okay. Because like the, the mission is basically over. Unless something else happens here, then it's slightly wasting time to get back to. And I can understand some people were complaining about that, but not the the worst in the world, I suppose. On my way. Yep. There we go. Okay. Brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up at the other platforms. Later. I, I will I will hurt you, Bleeder. I know you're gonna see this video, and I will hurt you. Brilliant work, Commander. We should have no trouble mopping up at the other platforms now that their defenses are down. We get the job done. Speaking of which... 
I wasn't finished. These platforms won't do us much good if we can't hold them. Majesty Metals taught us that. So we're gonna... Wait. We're going to need your battle mechs. Uh... Oh, so the mission's not over. You're gonna... You're going to want to reconsider... <laughs> Wait, is he saying he's gonna need us to stay and fight a little longer? Or is he literally saying, I want your battle mechs. Uh, we're gonna... You're, we're gonna take those from you. And now we're gonna fight them because they're basically double-crossing us. Why? Your lance has already been target-locked by our turrets. Now power down and surrender. Mother fucker. And we'll let you walk. Or try to fight and we'll tear you to shreds. Your call. This... Motherfucker, look at this smug ass little fucking bitch. Zoom in on that shit, Barry. Okay, you see this mother smug fucking. Okay. <sighs> Sigh. Well, there goes our goddamn payday. Hold tight, Commander. We're on our way. Wait. No, don't give up. I want to fight. What? Uh. Oh yeah. Okay. No, we are fighting. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, this is the. It's this is the base. This. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? By. Oh, my God. Ah, this sucks. Ah, this sucks. Okay, is there a turret generator here? Hang on, hang on. Um, wait, large building, reinforced building. There's no, there's no turret generator. I just have to blow up these turrets. Light shredder turret. SRM sixes and flamers? Oh, my God. Okay, I don't want to be anywhere near these things. This is so unfair. Oh, <gasps> turret generator right there. Yes. Ready for orders. Okay, can I can I step on it? I can't step on it. Um 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 Church generator is a hundred damage. I can't kill it with my spider. Yes, Commander. Because can I please tell me I could death from above it. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna get as far back as possible just to get out of the range of some of the turrets, at least. I'm gonna move here like this. No, I'm gonna yeah, a little closer to give me that 80% chance. Okay. I'm gonna move here, it gives me four evasive. We're gonna run right around here with the spider and shoot right at their turret generator. Okay, I if there was no turret generator, dude, holy shit, I was about to lose it. Cause that would have sucked. I mean, four turrets with two flamers and two SRM6s. The flamers, okay, they have to be really close, but those SRM6s, uh, not good. Target confirmed. Hopefully we get all their salvage now too. Okay, we got a vehicle coming in. Turds don't shoot at me, turds don't shoot at me. Ah, oh, fuck, Galleon. Oh, of course, my back, I... See again, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would've positioned better. <sighs> okay, now it's any of us. You, um, 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 I'll do me because I can move also like way back here. Oh, but I can't rotate enough. All right, I'm gonna move here like this. It's just because I'm the weakest as well. Well, I'm the second weakest to the spider uh, with the least amount of armor. We are going to take... Okay, it has 50 damage. I probably don't need to fire a billion things, but I'm gonna... Oh, my heat is actually super good. Well, until I start doing that. I'm gonna just fire that. That's all I'm gonna fire. Should take out this generator. Are you joking? Okay, I thought... Who... I thought it did not work for a second, <laughs> so it has this delay every time. Oof. Okay, scared me, scared me, but good. Turrets are down, they didn't even get a shot off. Bitch. Probably shouldn't have had your turret generator right there out in the open if you plan to fucking double cross me like that. I hear ya. And be like, haha, all my turrets are aiming at you. I literally just looked over and stepped on your turret generator. Now what are you gonna do, bitch boy? Let's move, um... Yeah, let's move like here and get eh, I don't want to go that far. I need better hit percent chances than that 80 All right, let's do like this because I want to aim and see what that is as well So oh, this is actually technically a oh, I thought it was a four. Never mind. What am I thinking? Okay, sorry Okay, we're gonna move like this. Oh, and then we can multi-target the well Oh, no, I can't but I can at least see what he's going to be so let's move Like that with the shadow hawk. My center is a little hurt 75 Um and we're just gonna alpha strike on you because uh, this thing is actually very heat efficient. Vehicle destroyed. Inspired. Vehicle trash. <laughs> trash. This vehicle is an SRM6 and LRM10. Good to go. Ten. All right. Glitch. You're gonna move. Mm, I could move here. No, let's move a little farther back. And I'll have very. I'll probably kill that striker immediately, and then I'll be able to see what the other. Me uh, mech. The other vehicle is as well. I like how I'm just running over all their buildings now. 
So let's take out him with a full alpha strike. Yes, I probably could have multi-targeted, and the PPC is just so much damage. You like that? But just being being sure, being safe than sorry. And it's my it's my go again. I forgot about that. Um, uh oh, I can't get a, a shot on. Oh yes, I can. I'll have to jump here. Oh, but this is the spider. Um, what is this mech? It's a scorpion. So AC5 and machine gun. Can my oop, can my spider go. take a AC5 shot? Uh, I mean he he could, but it'll. I mean it'll open up because AC5 is 45 damage. It'll open up any component and it'll, I'll crit something. So I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna move and get out the way with the spider, honestly, and let the tank uh, take a shot Moving at somebody else. I don't wanna, I don't wanna risk um, having to do repairs because I know, like, I saw people in the mech lab. I was watching some people. Uh, you know, you have to do all the repairs. Um, you know, pilots get injured. It all takes several days. It can take weeks, even months, depending on what you're doing. So the less damage I get, the better here. What? He's just plowing over that fence. Did you see that? Holy shit! Ow. Yeah, let the Shadowhawk take it, because he has the most armor. Minimal damage on that hit. Which is good. Oh, I, I can't get close enough t with anybody to uh, to to step on him. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping. Just to get it right in his face, at least. And, okay, you're gonna fucking back it up into that position. That's cool. Alright. Do a little reverse. <laughs> okay, fine. And Alpha Strike everything. Oh. Fuck it. Fuck this guy. Okay. Yay! Vehicle down. All right, so there was something else that happened. That's good. Samir Meyer, uh, stand by for extraction, Commander. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, and Darius? I know, Meyer, I know. You want another team meeting. <laughs> Give the man a prize. That's mission good. <laughs> that was awesome, actually. Holy shit. All right, good first mission. Hell yeah. I think I've been recording for an hour already, so let me see what's happening now and then I'll judge whether I can do another one or not oh well, here we go okay so here's like the actual payout stuff okay well we don't get one because yeah they they turn on us but no salvage we don't get salvage for that or anything okay uh well done commander you made the best of a bad situation here's hoping we don't run into another job like that one did they make me my their commander or or, or what okay so mor is this morale I gained or the morale I ended with um Oh, I can actually see information about these, um, that's, okay, that's cool. Uh, different factions here, all right, all right. We'll go next, and, oh, what? Wait a minute, wait, why is it showing all these things are, huh? I didn't end like that. What? Why is all the armor gone on the, my blackjack and the vindicator? Oh, I got the kills for the two mechs, that's awesome. Two mechs, two vehicles, three vehicles, one mech. All right, that's cool. It showed the loadouts, which are, everything's fine. I didn't lose any, um, any gear. Is that a bug though? Like, cause I, oh, hang on. Cause I certainly didn't end with, uh, no armor like that. So I'm wondering if they like, did they strip the armor off to like patch up the other? I have no idea. I don't know why it's showing that. Uh, we'll just hit next then. I like the music. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. Rent to own in orbit. Uh, Sumir Meyer, you need to start finding us better clients, Darius. I mean it. We've been slumming in... Uh, we've been slumming it on the ass end of the frontier for three years now, and we are drowning in debt. I'm fully aware of our financial situation, Meyer, but I can't just conjure up new clients out of thin air. <laughs> Roman, do me a solid and back me up on this. Uh, 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 uh... <laughs> is this why you all made me your command? Oh, so they did make me their commander. So I could break up fights and review financial reports. Shit. If we're really that hard up for cash, we need to stop talking and start doing something about it. Uh, no thanks, serious. I didn't take command of this outfit to settle arguments. Mm, both of these options sort of seem like the dick route. So, I mean, well, this one's kind of just sarcastic. I think I would be more serious, I guess. And I think the choices do matter. They have an effect on the crew. Like, that that's what one of the whole morale things is there for. Um, yeah, I think, I think this would be the best. I'm gonna say this, the middle one. Hey, you'll hear no argument from me. When we made you our commander, we all agreed to follow your lead. Darius, could you walk us through the details of this trouble we're in? If, uh, bleh. It might help if you broke things down point by point. Okay. Sure thing, gang. Point one. Meyer's right. We're in debt. Every C-bill we make technically belongs to the banks. 
Point two, this corner of the frontier is a dead zone for mercenary work. There are clients, but they're terrible. That's just a fact. And and that's it. There are no other points. I mean, why are we here then? Couldn't we just like, go somewhere else, you know? Uh, best case scenario. Why not, just, oh, why not just refuse to pay? We can afford to throw our weight around. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I would ask, what's the best case scenario? How many jobs will it take to repay the loans? Truthfully, I can't even say. We're in a pretty deep hole, and from where I'm standing, I don't see a whole lot of daylight. The thing is, these banks, and I use that word loosely, they don't want us to pay off our loans. They'll do whatever they can to get away with, wait, or yeah, they'll do whatever they can get away with uh, to keep us on the hook. Hit us with fees, jack up our interest rates, uh, misfile our paperwork. I'm trying to keep, uh, or I'm trying to find us a way out of this, but it's going to take time. Okay. Every day that passes, we accumulate more debt. If we keep going like we have been, we're screwed. Okay. Oh, so now it's, all right. So what are we, yeah. We're in a bad spot. What are we going to do about it? Not, not the, <laughs> the this, this is very, uh, Unhonor brew, and I specifically came from uh, clan territory, or what will be clan territory anyway. So I have to, I have to honor my, my honor. Yeah, got him. I don't see what else we can do, Roman. I'm already serving up every legitimate contract I can find. Unless you want me to sidestep the mercenary review board entirely, we're basically out of options. What is the mercenary review? Oh, I can mouse over this, and it actually tells me. Okay, mercenary review board founded in. Wait, this is an actual thing founded in 2789 okay what well, i didn't even know this was a real like in lore okay that's actually cool it actually has a founded date for a review board what the f okay a uh, communications giant that is famous for its neutrality i almost said net neutrality there i don't even know what a lot of this means but uh continue go around the mrb no thanks taking an uncertified job is a great way to wind up with a knife in your back i mean <laughs> we did just get betrayed oh that's actually one of the options <laughs> we just got betrayed on board certified contract yang how much worse could it get uh we're already taking a lot of risk out here i don't want to compound them unless i absolutely have to it doesn't sound like such a bad idea idea to me no guts no galaxy right hey i mean <laughs> me being me i would say i mean we did just get betrayed with an onboard certified contract. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I would say. Plenty, what happened down there was an exception, boss. With, uh, okay, well, with uncertified jobs, it's the rule. Remind me again why we don't just skip town and head out to a nicer corner of the periphery, which is, I think, the region of space. Um, yeah, I'm in a written word periphery. Uh, because the banks and the jump ship crews have an arrangement. Until we pay up, they're gonna keep us on a short leash. Okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> Look, Darius Meyer's right. We need to start earning some real money, and we need to do it soon. It's only a matter of time before something breaks down that I can't fix with duct tape and good intentions. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going to go down fighting and it broke. Desperate times, people, you know what you need to do. Or, I'm no stranger to betrayal. I lost my family. Yeah, I can I can do this because I can say this option because of my origin. Um, okay. I guess. We'll do that. Yeah, boss. Much I hate to say it, I agree with you. We need to sidestep the MRB. I guess I'd better get mentally prepared for that knife in the back. <laughs> I think we can handle ourselves though. I mean, we kicked ass down there. It's settled then. I'll start digging for contracts outside of the MRB system. Okay, it was gonna lead this way anyway. Who knows, maybe it'll work out for the best. It isn't like we've got all that much to lose. I mean, that's also true. In the meantime, we do need to find another paying job and our prospects in the system have completely dried up. I'd recommend booking travel to a neighboring system and seeing what the review board has for us. With any luck, we'll find enough work to keep going until something better rolls in. The banks are holding our jump ship access hostage until we repay our debts. For now, we can only go between that place, I'm not even going to try to pronounce, and the nearby systems of Aloe, Bellerophon, oh, and, De and Detroit. What? We have Urkruyan, uh, Aloe, Bellerophon, and Detroit? Detroit, really? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not even going to, okay, whatever. Our top, our top priority right now needs to be finding work so we can raise cash. None of the contracts here are very good. I picked out the only viable one I could find, and it helpfully includes our travel fees as part of the deal. Come by the command center when you're ready to review it. Okay. Oh, so now I'm at... Oh, all right, game saved. The game just saved here, and it's probably a good point to cut it because I don't want to make these videos ridiculously long. Uh, and then I'll, I'll fuck with all of this. <laughs> When I uh, when I get back to timelines, pause. Okay, I, I've I've seen somebody else playing around with this. Um, the hiring hall. Yeah, so here's where I can like hire new me or mechs, hire new crew, new pilots, command center. Hey, oh, pull up a chair. Oh, I didn't know he has a voice. Okay, these are the contracts, and it looks like I only have one. Barracks, mech warriors. 
All right, this is who I have on board right now. Oh, and oh, and we each have experience, and then we can like actually level up our skill. That's fucking cool. Holy shit! Service record. Oh, I can read about everybody. What? That's so cool. They all have a backstory. Standing by. Holy shit. Mech bay. Nice. Base. I. You know what? I actually did see. Um. So. So why is my armor stripped? I don't. I don't understand that. So the armor is stripped. Why though? Why did that happen? That's so strange. I'm just gonna quickly, I'm gonna click on refit. I'm not gonna actually refit anything, but I just wanted to point out and show that the um, the mech lab is very similar to, uh, it's almost exactly like Mech Warrior Online. They went with the same sort of uh, crit and hard point system. And I'm actually, I kind of wish they would have gone with more of like Mech Warrior 4's hard point system, because that one I think made a lot of sense. That was the, my favorite, um, where you couldn't fit like, you know, uh, like a PPC or something on a Commando or a Jenner. You know, because the weapons were just too big, the way they sort of combine crit slots and hard points. And uh, it, just, it just made a lot of sense, I think. Of course, that mech bay was limited because, you know, obviously you couldn't put, like, heat sinks and jump jets in the individual components. So, like, a combination of this and Mech Warrior 4's hard point system would be really cool, I think. But uh, I'm gonna screw with all this later. Oh my God, navigation, star map. Captain Quarters, Finances, Reputation, holy shit. There's so much, I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to take some time on my own just to figure out what all this shit does. There's so much shit to look at.